Welcome to Good Mythical More. We ask you to tell us what dishes do you make incorrectly that makes yes. them better. So not following the instructions. Yes. Pitching those. I'm excited about this. So we're gonna try all of this stuff and we'll tell you if you're right. But first, let's play What's the Word? Where we try to guess the definition of a word. Yes. What's the word? A Arenishish? Arenishish. Arenishish. Arenaceous. Yes. Arenaceous. 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 Oh, what is Aaron? That, it's like when you say, that is so Aaron. You know, your friend Aaron. That's an Arenaceous thing to do. Yes. Something only Aaron, my friend Aaron would do. Oh, yes. I don't know what I don't know what an Aaron is Aaron, besides a name. Aaron, so. I'm just trying to think of other words that have Aaron in E R I N in them like Aaronophobia. No. <laughs> Aaronalia. Aaron. My guess is Aaron. that's so Aaron. It's a spinoff to that's so Raven. Right. It was almost. It was what that's so Raven almost got called until they cast Raven. Simone. Let's see it. Of Hedge or relating to oh. hedgehogs. So I guess Aaron is a hedgehog. I bet you somebody out there has got some biologist. Or Irina has a hedgehog named Aaron. It's like, well, let me tell you why. Interesting. It's. You know, that's quite an Aaronaceous haircut you've got there, lady. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The hedgehog cut that yeah, yeah. Every, every Southern woman over 50 in got in North Carolina. It's like it's in short, like the late short 90s. in the front, and then it's like pew. Did it's your like mom ever get one of those? All spiky maybe? back there? Get a spiky yeah, cut? Yeah, yeah. All spiky uh, in the back? They, they were calling it funky. Funky. You know, I got a funky cut. A funky, I got a funky, funky cut. Funky. I'm gonna take my funky cut to the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> Harris Teeter. Yes, Harris Teeter, um, if you're a little upscale. Okay, this first hack I have I have heard of before, and I think that you're you're gonna quite enjoy it, the Uncrustables. Oh. <laughs> Uncrustables right out of the freezer. The bread quality is poor as a result, but the solid peanut butter combined with the still jelly-like jelly just hits different at Mr. Work Rate. Work, work, work rate? Work rate. Bread quality, poor. Solid peanut butter combined with a still jelly like jelly. What do you mean still jelly like jelly? Like semi frozen jelly? Yeah, yeah. More jelly like. Is it why is the consistency not uh is the I would think the peanut butter would be harder than the jelly. Uh, the peanut butter is a disc. Mm-hmm. It is good. And it's the so jelly sad. is very cold. Nothing to We soft. seem sad. Yeah. I'm just thinking I'm about For, it. Forlorn. No, no, no. Don't I, this apologize. is my this is my thoughtful face. Oh. If I was to work in a lab and I had to make decisions, you'd come in and you'd be like, "Why is the scientist so sad?" <laughs> this is my thoughtful face. <laughs> it's like he's just thinking deeply. <laughs> it tastes good. It's better. Oh, he said it because yeah, you're right about the bread, but. I don't, listen, Tom. I love that little smushed bread edge. <laughs> you thought it was just. Yeah, well, because my copy says at Mr. Workery. I was like, where Tom did is he his get name. Tom from? Tom listen, Tom, Tom you're right. Uh, you, you've made a good choice here. A regular Uncrustable is still really good, though. So I, if I, I had to have them side by side to know if you were truly right, but you are right, these are good. My favorite part of an Uncrossable is that little edge of hard smushed bread. Where it kind of, it's, it's kind of the crust of the Uncrustable, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't get away with it. If you don't have a crust at all, you don't, it you, you won't seal. Okay, cooking my pizza Lunchables in the microwave. This sounds interesting. Emmy's world. Okay. Emmy. In his world. Cooking. Cooking my pizza lunchables. This has got to be relatively common. Because when you eat it otherwise, it's begging to be cooked. 
Oh, man. The flavor on the sauce is intense. I have a problem with this because now I'm comparing it to real pizza. That is a problem. And that ain't gonna work. Um, so when it's a little warm. Mm, it's an uncanny valley. It's an I'm, uncanny pizza valley, guys. I'm sorry, but I, I, might, be, I might be going a little forlorn. Ooh. Over this, yeah, you're you're not thoughtful anymore. You're just absolutely sad. Yeah, Amy, this makes us think of real pizza that would be so much better. This isn't, this isn't as good. So, in your world, Amy's world, um, you're wrong. You live in a world that is wrong. You, we forgot to tell people that you would tell them if you if they were wrong or not, and that's oh, I'm why glad, they were submitting. I'm glad we got so many submissions. Don't cook your pizza launchable, girl. Just order a pizza. Yeah. Great, great idea. You've made me forlorn. Let's bring it back with something else. Don't toast a toaster strudel all the way. Do it just long enough for the outside to get warm and flaky, but have the filling still be semi-frozen. Hands oh. down the best way to eat one of those pockets of goodness at Mbabs. You like mm -hmm. stuff that's not fully cooked. Uh, throw it up there, Zach. All right, Mike Babbin, mbabs19. So he's saying put it on the toaster. I, don't toast it all the way. Now, here's what I do. I'm on record saying this. I put my toaster strudel in the microwave for 10 seconds. 10? And what that does is it makes the filling hot. Yeah. And then, because I like a lightly toasted strudel, same as Mike, but I don't like the semi-frozen filling in the middle. Yeah, that feels well, like, like a miss. like the opposite of what he said. That feels like no, a he, miscount. No, he, li he likes a light toasting. But he, but he also enjoys the undercooked inside because he's doing toaster only. Right. Mr. Neal here is doing a two-step process, right. which involves looking forlornly at your microwave for 10 <laughs> seconds as you think about how good it's going to be. Uh, and then you toast it lightly. It's also like very boldly going against the instructions because the name of the product is Toaster Strudel. So Link is just really. No, Stevie, I still toast it. Oh, you two-part it. I two-part it. I missed the second part. Mm -hmm. I was yep. stuck on the microwave. I'm, I microwave it to get the hotness of the inside, but then I lightly toast it to get the outside. Call me a rule follower. I, I just follow the directions and I think they are exquisite. I love a toaster strudel and we have it as a little treat in our house. Like, I if, love them too. If my wife wants my kids to know that they're loved, she'll get them a toaster strudel. The rest of the time during the year, they know they're not loved. <laughs> it's like, if you boys perform and don't embarrass as a, fa as a family, you get toaster strudels. The icing is so good. It's just the perfect icing. It's, I think it might be the perfect prepackaged breakfast treat, sweet treat. It's better than a Pop-Tart. I will fight you over this. Oh, I agree with that, but I don't think it's better than like a, a cinnamon roll. But if you're talking about Pillsbury, that's not technically prepackaged. I feel yeah. like you have to, it, it, it involves too much of your own involvement. You have to bake it for a, a good while. I mean, I know you have to toast these. Yeah, this is instant. Well, not quite instant. Semi-instant. It's semi-instant. Well, it's the best semi-instant sweet breakfast treat. And I, <clears throat> I'm on team apple. Uh, and the great thing I love about toaster strudel is that no matter what you get, there's nothing but goo in the middle. There's no actual fruit pieces. Like if there's You'd no apple pieces. you be by fruit? Yes. There's no actual apple shards, strawberry. I don't know if I can agree with that. Pieces. I, mean, I, I agree well, with you. No, that it's they're the great. Truth. No, but it's I'm, the truth. It's the truth. But I'm just saying, <laughs> if you were to go to uh, Germany, where I guess they invented a toaster strudel like <laughs> way back in the day, and a grandmother Gutwein <laughs> gives you like I didn't. I don't care if it's accurate. I don't care if it's you, historical. But, but I'm just saying, if they were like, I'm saying this is they, my preference. If they said. Now with real fruit chunks, you you say that's worse. Yes. Well, I don't understand why. I, but the same reason I'd love an apple pie better if there wasn't actually apples in it. 
If it was just apple goo in the middle? Yeah, absolutely. freaking loop. What is wrong with you, Oh man? my gosh, yes. And yeah, and the fact oh, that they did that, man. they made that decision. You're gonna love it's it. It's what makes me just, love. You're gonna love it when you're just sucking on the robot overlord teat and it's just soilent. You're gonna love those days. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna go sucking up to the, down to the teats. Is, <laughs> what'd you have for lunch today? <laughs> soilent. <laughs> I love being subject to the robot overlords. That's you, man. That's your future. Toaster strudel is my jam for that reason. Don't put so, any chunks in the so soil. Do you want? Do you want chunks? I don't. I mean, I think it's almost perfect. But if you if you told me that now there's chunks now with chunks, I'd be excited. So Mike is incorrect. No, but, but correct for even choosing. The Mike plot. is very close to being correct. I think Mike. I, <clears throat> and I, even. The the feeling being semi frozen, I'm I've never tried it, so I'm not gonna dog it. I think we could be friends. I think I think I might like to take Mike for a parking lot pickle. Hey! <laughs> if he were Mike, I would like to invite you. Hey, you can't do that, man. You can only pickle one person at a time. Yeah, you're not gonna be there. That is actually not in the rules, <laughs> according to Urban Dictionary. You can. Parking lot pickle is two at a time. <laughs> two at a time, but a third can watch. I'm not gonna be some. <laughs> third wheel in the parking lot pickle? I'm not gonna be a Falwell Jr. in this situation, man. <laughs> Don't, you know, that's not my style. Okay. Um, Mike, I think you're on to something. Okay. Y'all know about one. the pool boy? <laughs> Y'all don't, hold on. Y'all don't know about this? Watch, what's it called on Hulu? The president, what's that? The president of Liberty University, Jerry Falwell Jr. Um, he would watch his wife. Rhett. And a pool, and a pool boy from the Fontainebleau in Miami have pickle time. This is a big deal. There's a documentary on Hulu all about it. You should watch it. It's good for you. <laughs> I'm not interested. It's fascinating, man. This guy was like at the center of the religious right. And in the meantime, he's in the corner of a hotel room, you know, watching his wife have pickle time. I don't like you bringing pickles into this because pickles was just, that was for us, man. Mike, <laughs> I got it. I gotta disinvite you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mike. What is this? What's this white stuff? Okay. My dad loves oatmeal, like soup style. He'll make it according to the directions and then add a good cup of milk so it's essentially pure liquid to each their own at Molly Robinson. Okay. No, um, I'm interested in this. Throwing dad under the bus. This is interesting. Soup style oatmeal. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Something's up with his oatmeal. <laughs> What's it taste like to you? Like something like well you could just say it on the on three, two, one, we say the same thing. Three, two, one. Burnt, burnt tire. <laughs> burnt tire. <laughs> <laughs> you said burnt tire. I just said burnt, man. Mm. I feel like it got burnt. <laughs> Wowzer. Is that because oh, there's so much milk? Mm. That's tough. Mm. When you put that much milk in the oatmeal, it tastes burnt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's all. That's the only thing we can conclude. He'll make it according to the directions. And then he'll add a good cup of milk. Good, so it's essentially pure liquid. I uh, wanted to like this because I love milk. I love warm milk like a cat. Um, but I gotta tell you, it's just not working for me. The cat, I mean the cat. The, the milk is very, if you just try to isolate the milk, it's very um, thick. Are you saying that somebody burnt it? Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, who's in charge here? Uh, I think that would be. That, yeah, who's that, in charge that, here? Nicole? Okay. Is that V? V, we're not trying to throw you under the bus here, but it's not. It's not black. There's no like burnt spots. But it certainly tastes and smells burnt. 
Now, how do you do that with oatmeal? How do you burn oatmeal? <laughs> yeah, I guess Nicole did it. Nicole, <laughs> Nicole did she's, it. She's not she, going to speak for She's it. cringing in that culinary corner. Waiting. We're coming for you, Nicole. Now, you may be asking yourself, uh, you know, I'm really enjoying watching this, what they're doing right now, but if I could see it turn into an article that I could read. <laughs> Don't undermine. No, no, no. Just, I'm saying for real though, man. Sometimes you need it put into an article form. Lots of times I want to see the article form of something that I've I've watched. Why you is know? that? Because of SEO, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want to see, I want to be able to see all the he, words. He's talking. He's talking about going to sport. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's right. And and uh, not just this, not just this experience that we've had right now, but every, accessing rankings, every experience that we've had on this show and experiences that we will have, and experiences that we haven't even had because only the sport team has had them, and then put into an article form. It's over at sport.com. If you want rankings, you can get them instantly. Just use the search. Just use the search button. Now this is chicken potted, chicken unpotted pie. Is that what's happening? Yes, need, exactly. I need this explained. Um, I like to break my pot pies up in a bowl and add milk and spices to it, especially a ton of black pepper. Now black pepper's add great. Con on the cob. Con, Con on, on the, the cob. cob. Like mm. it. This is this is this is basically what I do. But you yeah, don't add milk. I haven't added milk, no. Um yeah, you, you got the you got the crust on top and you just smash all that down into it. Now is it there is a cream inside of a pie anyway. Lots of pepper. That's great. It's actually pretty good. Pepper works on, on a lot of things in my opinion. But boy, it doesn't get much better than a lot of black pepper on a pot pie. Man. A lot of That's black really pepper good. on, a, on a, a pooched pot pie. You're just pooching it. What are you thinking about this? Three, two, one, not good. burnt. <laughs> no, it wasn't burnt. No, 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 not at all. This is really good. This is really good. <laughs> I, <thought> you, <laughs> I, just, I just saw it in the corner of my eye when I said that, V, just mm -hmm. really, you know. We'll figure out the oatmeal thing, V. We will. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think it's just because there's so much What are we doing? We're launching an <laughs> investigation? <laughs> I just think it's because there's so much milk in it. We're, we're, la we're launching a, a third party investigation. Yeah. Like independent. Mm -hmm. An independent council. It will be someone who's not employed by Mythical. He's gonna come in and figure out yeah, who, who yeah. burned the oatmeal. They'll look, yeah, they'll look into it. It mm -hmm. sounds like a, ch a children's mystery. Who burnt the oatmeal? That's good, Con. This this is not r relevatory, but it is very good. Okay, and finally, this one comes from a Mythical crew member, not a Mythical beast, from Sierra. This is her ramen recipe. Two packets of ramen, only one flavor packet, cooked as short a time as possible to still be considered cook, cooked. Strain the broth, plop an ice cube in. All right, Sierra. So uh, that is an ice cube. Uh, on, only you can explain to us plop, why we should eat this. Plop an ice cube. Um, yeah, so my aunt would do this when we were little just so we would eat quicker, but what? I like it. What do you mean, eat quicker? So you wouldn't like get burnt. Like it would burnt. cool down, so we could eat right away. Oh. She put an ice cube on it to cool it down. Yeah, 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 to cool it down. Because little kids, they, they don't like hot things. And and you like less flavor packet. Was it that she gave, she wanted to give you less flavor as a child? That wasn't a her thing. That's just a, just a me thing. You don't like flavor. You're a bland person. I do like bland food. I mean, you like. I'm a bland person. It is good to give when it comes kids, to food. It is good to give kids not as much seasoning when they're younger, though, because then they can only look forward into the future and be impressed. Right. You know, you really want. In my babysitters, the only cereal that she gave me was Rice Krispies, and um, she would let me add a little bit of sugar to it. You should really but show your kids really. That's not a good kid cereal. Really bad movies. Get them. Get them to go to really bad theme parks. Uh, listen to really bad music, and their adult life will be amazing. Now they'll think you are horrible and had horrible taste. Talk a lot. 
a lot of trash about you the rest of your life, but they will be happier. Yeah, they, yeah, they'll be happier. I gotta say, this is rather cold ramen. So you, you as a kid, so you wouldn't burn yourself, so you put that on there, and now you do it because you you just attach to that experience. I like that there's cold pockets when it's really hot. <laughs> when the, when most of it's hot. Yeah, right when it's done. You're looking for the cold pockets. You like the cold pockets. Um, well, here's my take on this, Sierra. I think that it's almost perfect. It would be better if you used the full amount of seasoning and cooked it the full appointed time and made it hot. <laughs> and then it would be great. Then I would agree with you. I would really agree with you at that I, point. I think we're kindred spirits here. And I not because I agree with you on this, but because it's just so strange that I, you know, I have no room to uh, to pick it apart. Like the cold pockets, like uh, totally something that that I, I would have said about it, about some something, about something else. Not this. You're wrong about this, but I like it. Thanks. Do you guys want to update on Oatmeal Gate? Yeah, let's hear about the oatmeal. Lily in Mythical Kitchen has sent a picture of the pot that Nicole cooked the oatmeal in. If we can bring that photo up. Yep, 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 yep. That, Nicole? I'll tell you right now, that makes a lot of sense. Well, that that is a black bottom bowl right there. Yeah, it is. There are no, I challenge, I challenge you, Sierra, to find any cold pockets <laughs> at the bottom of that bowl. And I gotta say, it looks like whoever took the oatmeal out of the pot really got in there like to scrape. make sure they got as much of that burnt layer as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is one of those scenarios where <laughs> I ain't done. Did they think we were not done yet? This is one of those scenarios where you where you scrape everything out of the bowl and then you look at the bowl and you're like, I'm just gonna throw the bowl away. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, too, I'm not gonna too try. Far gone. I'm not even gonna soak this bowl. Yeah. Okay. Well, mystery solved. No need to call a third party. <laughs> <laughs> Head over to sports.com to see this video in article form and more. They're tasting, trying, and ranking all sorts of stuff.